Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Let's start to play Fatal Frame, Maiden of the Black Water. I am a big old fan of the uh, Fatal Frame series, although I've only played one and two. And then just to set some uh, expectations up front, I feel like this game would be great to do a live stream of to show the entire game, you know, react in real time. Uh, but I don't do that. I'm not that kind of YouTuber, so I need a different angle uh, from which to approach this game. So I'm thinking I will just cover the uh, the cutscenes and then uh, maybe I can give some insight from the uh, Japanese uh, perspective. Maybe talk about why the game is the way it is. Talk about uh, kind of bigger cultural or societal things about Japan. But yeah, I'm very selfish when it comes to video games. Like, the, um, the experience of it is very personal to me. I am old, so when I uh, grew up playing video games, there was no, uh, there was no live streaming. Uh, there was no internet, even. <laughs> so I would play a lot of uh, like RPGs and uh, simulation games. And yeah, it was just me and the video game, so it was a very personal experience. And uh, that does influence my uh, YouTube channel as well. Prologue lurking in the deep, Miu Hinasaki. Mountain ranges like this are very common in Japan. <laughs> But yeah, Fatal Frame. I'm a big fan of horror, both films and video games. Uh, but just like uh, Japanese horror is very different from Western or European, the, uh, the games are different too. Kind of the, uh, one of the more main differences is the, uh, the camera, the, uh, the camera game mechanic. I don't think we're going to see it in this video, but yeah, later. Alright, there's Mew. She's dressed kind of ridiculously. <laughs> Not that clothes like that doesn't exist here in Japan, but... It's much more like for adults. You wouldn't see uh, kids wearing this kind of thing usually. Creepy. <laughs> you can't see my face, but I'm grinning ear to ear. I just love this series so much. So I'm playing on the uh, Switch, two uh, sticks. These are very uh, busty ghosts. <laughs> And then, yeah, Fatal Frame, the series, is kind of uh, famous for uh, protagonists that walk very slowly. But we're kind of waist-deep in water, so this place has an excuse, at least. Uh, but just overall, generally, the, uh, the walking speed is faster in this game. <laughs> it did kind of lead to the um, sort of the, the terror of the earlier games, though. And then one other thing different about this game compared to the previous ones is that you can move the camera freely. Uh, in 1 and 2 when I played, the camera was always just kind of set in one um, 
place, usually, when you're walking through an area. And then you make it to the end of the screen, and then, like, the camera is set in a different place. And then you would be walking in kind of that classic um, survival horror way, where if you push up, you walk in the direction of whatever direction that they're facing. But uh, this fatal frame, it uh, kind of adheres more to the, uh, the classic adventure 3D moving around. And they're using all the uh, same sound effects from the uh, previous Fatal Frame games, which is just awesome. Alright, so we're doing the uh, tutorial, basically, so it's teaching us all the controls. This is pretty fast compared to previous Fatal Frame games. <laughs> A lot of these kind of uh, grainy black and white uh, flashbacks. A lot of uh, foreshadowing and all that. I think one of the uh, key differences between uh, Japanese horror and then uh, other Western horror, or again, European horror, is that stuff moves very slowly in Japanese horror. Like when uh, Sadako is coming out of the well, you know, uh, from Ring. It's like you're in a dream, and then like you're looking at this thing, you know, slowly coming at you, but you can't move, you know, you can't wake up. And it just fills you with chills. Very different from like uh, jump scares in Western horror. Dread. That's the other word I'm looking for. <laughs> and like, even though you're looking at it, you just, you can't even, like, tell, like, what it is. That adds to the dread. And then this architecture here looks very much like a uh, temple. Got those thick uh, wooden pillars. shivers <laughs> okay yeah this looks like a temple yeah these lanterns here and then like the uh, the folded paper above the door that's all uh, temple-esque Yuri, Den, and Mew. It is a terrifying tale of the supernatural. Supernatural often plays a part in uh, Japanese horror as well. 
Okay, that'll do it for this video. I don't know how often or like how much I'm going to cover in the videos, but uh, I'll be playing this game going ahead. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.